what's up guys welcome back to the channel right now I go out on an evening dive it's been a while since I've done an evening dive hope this evening successful right now at 3 o'clock in the afternoon I'm going to go out there and see what I can find so stay tuned guys until we get into the water alright yeah man Okay guys, so that's a huge school of sprat right there. A huge school of sprat. Actually I came in the water just to do a regular dive. And um, I came up on this school of sprat. And um, before I got in the water, the fishermen on the beach asked me to check if they were there. As um, this location is known for having a lot of sprats, you know. A lot of sprats all over people. Whenever I'm diving and I see a sprat bed, um, these are known as bait fish as well. I would normally um, lurk around to see if any big fish would pass by. Because the bigger fish um, feed on these fishes. Now I pass the message on to the fishermen that the sprats were here. They came out and dropped the net and these are some sprats stuck in the net right here if you look carefully let me try and get a closer view so you can actually see what's going on right there Now these guys caught a lot of sprats in the net but um, the amount that they caught was only a handful of what was actually there. There was a lot of sprats there people. Now the fishermen are pulling in the net, then we're going to head over to land to um, pick the fish off the net, alright? Yeah peeps, so, sprat them a pick off you now, whole heap of sprat, up on the beach. Alright now peeps, so I'm actually going to clean up the boat and I'm going to take out the other rest of the then throw in our next bucket Fish Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? 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 <laughs> All right, now is the next day, and I'm home, so I'm gonna go clean up the fish them for fry them. All right, that's my dog right there making a lot of noise with the chain. No people, um, the sprats are very easy to clean. Um, the scales come off pretty easily So you just rub the knife over it and the scale just come off easy. So right here, I'm going to take out the guts and the gill. Yep, and that's it. Ready to fry. Throw that one in the basin right there with some other ones we have these one clean up already so here we go ready to go in the kitchen right now all right mm -hmm. all right now peeps so we're in the kitchen now we'll dry the fish yeah. like when the fish them dry, them dry. Looking nice over here. So we just use some paper towel and just get the excess water off the fish and thing, you know. Just like that. Mm. Alright now people, so we are gonna put some seasoning on it. Maggi all purpose. Make everything taste good. There we go. Mm. All right, so rubbing the seasoning right now. I'll we'll put a little bit more over it. Yeah. Probably the seasoning of them. People so see me got some pepper right there so over here so me have the onion, the carrot and some sweet pepper and me have the vinegar in the cupboard so you must know what time is it right there. Alright people so the oil up on the fire right now we are going to get the fish them in there. So um, in the meantime, we put a um, piece of pepper in there and some garlic in the oil. And then we're going to add the fish them right now. Yeah. So yeah, peeps. The menu today is fried sprat with escovie sauce. Fried sprat with escovie sauce. And we are going to make that uh, scratch. We are going to cut up them 
pepper here, the onion, the sweet pepper and the carrot. So that's a good idea you now, know, people. So I cut up the pepper them. Make pickle pepper or escobie sauce. For them nice and colorful. And it smells strong too. Mm -hmm. and that's good. Alright, so that's the pepper right there. Put that in your sauce on it. So we have a little jar there. Remember so when we did small, Granny used to have our Alex buckle. So she used to make them and put in. Yeah. So now we have cut up the onion. When we did small and did I cut up the onion them, the eye then used to run water. The onion make you cry. So you have to hold it as far away from you as possible. Mm. So if you wet it, you know, make your ball, but I try that enough time and it still make my ball. Mm -hmm. Alright peeps, so we are going to turn the first set of fish right now. First set people, just turn them and thing. Alright, so we are gonna add the onion them to the jar. Yeah. You want a bigger jar? Yeah, we have go. We have got change the jar of people, the jar are too small. So I will get a bigger jar. I love the jar is still you know, it's pretty, you know. Peeps, so we change the jar. The jar look nice too. We are loaded up now with the onion and them. The pepper inside there already. Yeah. I remember when you cut up the pepper, you can put the pepper seed and everything in there. Alright? Yeah, man. Alright, so we are going to remove them set here from the pot now. Put them on, on a plate. 
some ant oil as well so you know they drain out the oil back in the days we used to use brown paper granny used to use brown paper and put them pan yep so the next setting of the pot right now are fry yeah now we are going to cut up the carrots people If you never tried this before, I always have fried fish you need to try this. Like most Jamaicans must actually have fish this way already. Like fried fish with the pickle pepper over it and thing. But if you are not from Jamaica or if you have never had this before, then try it. All you need the onion, the pepper, the carrot, vinegar, and sweet pepper. That's what I put inside it. Yeah, you just cut up everything, add them to a, a jar or a bowl, and pour the vinegar on it. The longer it stays, the better it tastes. Them say. I don't really like when it stays too long though. I like when it's fresh. Like a day or two. To me that I best. Alright, so we're gonna add the carrot then to it now. Okay, let's see that. So, pepper down on the first layer, onion, carrot, and the jar is full. So that's some garlic. Uh, so I'm going to put some garlic in it too. So cut up the garlic. the garlic to the jar as well mm. alright people so see the vinegar there eh? we're just going to pour that in the jar cover it down yeah. Make that go and stay till the fish then done fry. There we go. Jar a big. Uh, like it wants a little bit more vinegar, but that's okay. As the jar is big, we never plan to make so much, but all you have to do now at this point, like get some more vinegar, you can tap it up each time the, the vinegar run out, which is the sauce run out, you can just pour more vinegar on it, and then it's good to go just the same, alright? Yeah, so you mix everything. Get a blend. You can smell the flavor, people. It smells good. So, what I did right there, I took some from the big jar 
being that I didn't have enough vinegar and I um, made some in the smaller jar so what is it left in the big jar we just go buy our next bottle of vinegar and just pour it on that and that can actually be another jar so this is what it should look like guys ready so we are cut up the sweet pepper as well but everybody do them thing different um me just have to put the sweet pepper over the fish and i'm gonna put it in the jar I'm mean, not like when it's in a jar and stay long. So me just sprinkle it on the fish and then we put the ingredients from the jar over it as well. And you also have another way of making this. The same ingredients, but um, you do it on the fire instead of just doing it natural like this, you know. But I like it this way. guys so the fish them ready I'll put on my sweet pepper them mm. color is looking good so far joining us in the kitchen today guys we hope you enjoyed our video hope you like share and subscribe to the channel